Welcome to Team Momentum, Avon new representative, July 2017 webinar. I do this webinar once a month and I invite not only our new representatives from our team, um, but other Avon representatives as well. So there's ones on here that are leaders. There's ones on here who have been selling a long time. Um, some people just come for the, the community and the chatting and the fun and uh, hopefully you learn a thing or two along the way. Um, yes, I do have my Avon branding, branding on here. So um, always make sure you're wearing Avon, whether it's a button or a shirt or your bag or your makeup, jewelry, whatever it is. Um, it's always best to have something on that is representing the company. Um, so if this is your first call, I uh, go through pretty much the same webinar, but uh, updated a little bit here and there based on timing. Um, I am somewhat newer to doing videos. I guess I only started doing them probably about two years ago and um, I'm learning more and more things to enhance them and make them look better and me sound better. So my newest trick here is the green screen. So you guys are all vacationing like a boss here in the Bahamas. Um, we just got back from there a couple weeks ago and it was one of the best Avon incentives that I've ever been on. So um, almost a thousand people there between corporate and representatives. So it was a great time. Um, I look forward to meeting so many of you at RepFest. So let me get started here. And I know that there's a lot of questions when you're first starting out. So um, don't be afraid to ask them and um, try to keep them relative to the slides that I'm on because if I go too far off on a tangent, I get a little mixed up and lost. So um, sometimes I'll ask you to hold those till the end if they don't fit in with the, the content that I'm covering at that time. So welcome to Avon. Uh, failure will never overtake me if my determination to succeed is strong enough. Um, if you've been in direct sales before or you've ever tried to start your own business, uh, I did, I tried several different companies before finally uh, falling in love with Avon. So um, we all know that in the beginning it is, it's hard. Uh, you get faced with rejection, which is sometimes hard to take um, no matter how many years you've been doing this. Um, but sometimes uh, the only thing that's keeping you going is that hope and the dream that you're going to be able to live the life of your dreams one day um, from the income that you start bringing in from your business. So um, always keep that in mind. Uh, celebrate your good times. Uh, your attitude can really run. Uh, the success of your business. So when your attitude is down, um, your numbers are probably gonna go down. So it's so important to keep yourself motivated um, and excited about the business and customers and your team members uh, will, will catch that from you, it's contagious. So um, whenever you have that excitement going, do everything you can to keep it alive. If you are on Team Momentum, uh, meaning I am your, your mentor or your leader, um, or you're under one of the leaders on our team, uh, you do get free access to my training. So I set that up once a week, so you will get an email saying that you have free access to all the training. It's about 12 to 15 hours of training on um, being successful and specifically being successful online. So uh, especially in the beginning, um, those of you that are not on my team, I have a lot of free videos on YouTube and a lot of blog posts about how to be successful. It's so important 
um, especially in the beginning, that you take time to learn um, and really spend uh, just as much time learning as you are out in the field trying to grow your business. We are almost 830 reps strong. We grow by the day, so it's a really exciting time to um, be with Avon and be on Team Momentum. We are uh, over 800,000 for the, the cycle so far, and last year was the first time that we've ever uh, hit the million dollar marker. So. What that means is that our team members produce uh, over a million dollars in revenue on an annual basis uh, as Avon representatives. So it's pretty amazing. When I used to hear those numbers uh, back when I was first starting out, um, it just seemed completely impossible to me. But um, that hard work and that dedication and discipline that you put into your business every day um, can really make up some crazy results uh, when you work together. So I see a, a hand raise. So if you have a question um, that has to do with what I'm chatting about now, go ahead and put it in the, the chat window. Um, sometimes people hit that on accident, so I'll just watch the chat window here. I'm hoping that we hit the $2 million marker this year and that we have over a million dollar sales increase over last year. So without getting uh, technical in the different leadership levels, um, we are the number four leader team nationwide um, so far in total unit sales. So, um, it's an exciting time to be starting a business. You're getting in right before we get revved up for the fourth quarter, which is the best of all. So you've come in at a really great time. I like to share a little bit about me and my personal life as well as what I'm doing with Avon. Uh, here's my kids, Ava and Josh. And uh, let's see, Cheryl over here came and visited me in Chicago. We did the Avon walk and we toured downtown Chicago with my kids. So that was a lot of fun. Uh, here's my husband. He's an electrical engineer in Rockford, Illinois. So that's where we live. Um, and then I recently got to take a trip to Avon Corporate to um, talk on the social media and digital advisory board to continue making uh, the right changes and the right improvements for both the company and the representatives. So it's it's uh, easy to forget all the cool things that you get to do on your Avon journey. Uh, so I really recommend keeping track of it like a resume because um, eventually if you decide to start a team, you're going to be the only one that is accountable for having that information and showing that progress and, and sharing all of those cool things that you've done along the way. Um, also, after years and years, it's hard to remember what you've earned or what you've done. So it's good to keep track of it as you go. Um, I have been fortunate enough to be on uh, many vacations all across the country and outside of the country um, and have earned two TVs. Um, this year we've been traveling a ton. So uh, Avon can be uh, as big as you want it to be or it can be a little side thing where you're just making uh, some extra money. So that's what I really love about it. It's completely flexible and uh, you can build it at your own pace. So. Um, that's what really attracted me to it. My original why was to be able to be at home um, while my kids were little. So uh, that is something that I'm sure you've all heard if you've been in direct sales before. Um, what's your why? And really holding on to that as you're going through and working your business. Um, I'm going to see what you're talking about here. Um, do you make money at 
at it. Um, so what I recommend, um, it's hard to recruit people when you don't feel like you've made it yet. <laughs> um, however, the more you share that excitement and you grow with your team members, um, the closer you become. So uh, many times when I was not successful yet, um, I would use different leaders as an example, like, oh, well, so-and-so just earned this fully expense paid trip to the Bahamas, or, you know, this person's making this much per month with their Avon business. So um, you can use success stories without having to say, yeah, I'm really like doing awesome. Like I'm making so much money. You don't, you don't have to sell it that way. Um, and I've, I've always been a big fan of being very upfront and honest. Um, I would never ever tell anyone that this is an easy business. It's not get rich quick. <laughs> um, it's a lot of work. It's, it's hard, but I love it. So um, be honest with people. Otherwise, you set up these false perceptions, and it just makes them uh, more upset with you. Um, yeah, that's kind of tricky when people uh, straight up ask you questions that you're not really comfortable telling them. So, um, you know, sometimes you have to set your own boundaries and say, you know, I'd rather not share that information. So make sure that you have your why, whether it's emotional or it's uh, tangible or it's a little bit of both. Keep that up in front of you in your work area. Um, design your Avon business to give you the type of return that you're looking for. Um, maybe it's not about the money. Maybe it's about uh, being able to be home more and spend more time at home and just have a little extra spending money. So uh, you, can, you can make this a little side job or you can make it a full-time income. So you can try uh, three key actions every day and these are taken straight out of your Getting Started book. So uh, always go through that, and it's always a good reminder, even for those of us who have been in it for years, to, to go back and look at some of these tips, because it may be something that worked for us at one point, and for some reason or another, we took it out of our routine. Um, you always want to keep trying new things until you figure out exactly what works for you. So keep brochures in samples on hand. Um, make sure they're slapped with your contact information, your phone number, your website. Um, I like to give people different options so that they shop with me however they prefer. Um, I no longer do the door-to-door -door anymore, um, but, I, but I had many years where I did that. So um, another nice thing about this business is you can slowly build it to the exact way you want it. Um, and you can actually, you know, if someone doesn't like that you don't deliver to their house, you can say, well, I can help you find a traditional representative. So uh, the, the bigger you grow your business and the more you tailor it to how you want it, uh, the more choices you can make about how you run your business. So in, invite com customers to sample the quality of our products. We do have a lot of samples, but uh, we also have a lot of products that don't have samples. So get creative. Maybe you want to buy the full size product and use it as a demo. Uh, and if you don't have a lot of money to invest in the beginning, uh, try out one product per campaign. That way you're learning about a new product every two weeks. And if you, you can't afford to buy the products, uh, study your books. Just like uh, in school when you're going to have tests, study the different products and how they can all help your customers. For me, it was easiest to learn about them as I helped my customers, but um, it doesn't hurt to study your book and then use your customer website as a learning tool for you. Uh, spread the word that you're open for business 24-7. So giving those uh, customers that you're meeting face-to-face 
um, and the ones online, different, different ways to shop with you. So maybe you want to um, take phone orders and then actually place them on your own website and have them shipped to your customer. So there's a lot of uh, Avon customers out there that are looking for a representative. They're not comfortable ordering online. So maybe you want to try to uh, target that market and do their, do their orders for them over the phone. Um, there's so many different ways that you can run your business. So this is uh, what most companies tell you to do <laughs> as soon as you start. Um, make your contact list. Go through and list out as many people as you can think of and play the connection game. You know, here's what I do every week. Here's where I go every month. Who do I know there? Who do they know? Um, it can really help you grow a list to begin with when you're not attracting people that you don't know. So uh, some of us are more comfortable than others hitting up family or friends, and it's not a bad place to start because these are people that know you and trust you. And, you know, if they decide they don't like our products, then that's okay. You know, don't take any sort of rejection uh, personally as you're going along. And, and you don't even have to be pushy as a salesperson. I, I like to bring up Avon casually, talk about what I'm doing with Avon. On my uh, personal Facebook page, I show a lot of um, how how Avon uh, intertwines with my life. So I'm not always uh, pushing my favorite product or saying, hey, here's free shipping. Um, even though those things aren't bad to do every once in a while, I'm more telling um, a story about my Avon business. And people see how, how much fun I have and how many friends I've made and places I get to travel. And then they start asking me about the business. So we can either uh, push our marketing out there or we can use techniques that pull people in to no one's chatting. <laughs> Start up some conversations there, Cheryl. Um, so keep your contact list. After you go out and name everyone that you can think of, you can put a little star by the ones who you think um, may be interested in earning more money with, with Avon. The sooner you introduce uh, re recruiting or team building into your business, the easier it becomes for you to always be selling and recruiting. It, it is hard for five years. I was focused mostly on the sales portion. And then when I decided I wanted to recruit, it was um, retraining myself on how I how I did my marketing, how I made my labels, how I made my profiles online. So the sooner you start team building, the easier and more comfortable it becomes to you. Some of you don't want to build a team and that's completely fine. That's a personal choice. Um, I say why not take advantage of all three areas of the business so that you can build a solid foundation and make the most money. So here are uh, six tips to start your success. You want to share your brochures everywhere. If you're a little shy or uncomfortable, um, the book is a, a good icebreaker. Hey, have you seen the latest Avon book? Would you like it? You know, kind of put it out there before they even say yes or no. People are more inclined to take it that way. <laughs> um, it's a nice icebreaker, and if they say no, it's not the end of the world. Carry your products and samples everywhere you go. Uh, I like to ask people about samples before handing them out because they can get costly. So I would rather uh, get turned down than someone take my sample and then throw it out. So uh, think of it when you hear a no, people might actually be doing you a favor because they're saving you money. So we can always put a positive spin on everything, even rejection. So 
that's my little tip there. <laughs> the daily care collection we'll talk about in, a, in another slide. Uh, and learn about the products in your kit. So the products that came with your kit are uh, yours, whatever you want to do with them, if you want to use them as demos, if you want to use them yourself, so you can give testimonials, um, if you want to sell them, that's up to you too. Uh, so I guess, you know, that can be uh, the best part of the business, but sometimes the hardest part of the business is that there's a lot of flexibility and you have to make choices about how you want to do it. Get your business on track with your getting started guide. Uh, we do have Avon University right now, um, which is where the Avon training is held. Uh, they are going through revamping a lot of our training. Uh, so there should be a lot more content and engaging topics for you to learn on very soon. Uh, experience and share the products in your kit. So Brandon, I will tell you, I saw your question today about um, men's incentives or how is Avon uh, rewarding men. I um, suggest that you follow Timothy Brown. Um, he is a very successful male sales rep and uh, he puts his own little spin on things and some of the incentives are definitely geared toward women um but hopefully you know as we evolve and there are more men that come into the business that avon will see that um and try to be more conscious of that when they're coming up with the incentives and the programs um, but i think uh, money speaks to all of us so um, a lot of the incentives are about earning uh, sales tools or cash bonuses so then you can buy whatever you want that's that's awesome part about that so uh, experience and share the products in your kit I like to use my customer website if there's any products that I'm unfamiliar with um, because you can go in there and look at the star ratings you can look at people's reviews um, you can see what people like you can see what they don't like um, and you can be honest with your customer to let them make the decision uh, it's, it's good to give them facts and product knowledge and let them choose uh, because if you are the one telling them which product to pick, um, then they're going to hold you accountable when they don't like it. So uh, if you give them more information and, hey, they have to weigh their options, um, then they'll probably select, they'll uh, be choosier when they, when they pick. I always end up asking like the the bartender the waitress like what they recommend and then i get that and it's always something i don't <laughs> like so um that's an example of where they should maybe just give me some options and facts and um i can choose for myself so here are some of our biggest product categories so everyone knows avon for skin so soft um it's a one of our flagship brands. I don't know many people who have never heard of Skin So Soft. Many times people have um, a story that they can relate to with their Skin So Soft oil about how their grandmother used it or whoever else. Um, our beauty, so uh, makeup obviously is our biggest category in sales. Um, they're always coming out with new products. Uh, sometimes they, I shouldn't say sometimes, many times they discontinue products, um, but they'll bring in something to substitute that. Uh, we are not the only company that goes through products like that. I hear it very often for a lot of the beauty companies out there. Um, I don't know why they discontinue and make new ones so much, but um, you know, there's obviously reason and fact behind it as to why they do it. Uh, skin care, we have really great skin care, the Anu line. Um, we have some other lines that aren't as um, expensive, and even our Anu is, is a really good deal compared to any of the department store brands. 
Um, and a lot of times we are the pioneers in coming out with a new anti-aging uh, ingredient. So definitely take the time to learn about your skincare. Uh, if, if there's one product category to learn about, that is the one. Uh, having loyal skincare customers can build you a great business. Uh, and then we have all of our fragrance, which definitely uh, goes way up in sales around holiday time. I see you guys are, are being more chatty there. So uh, hopefully you're having some good conversations in the chat box. We have our Avon Daily Care Collection. Uh, which is available for new representatives to sell in their first seven campaigns, uh, unfortunately is not available on your website. So if you did take orders um, from people that are not local, it would be up to you to get it to them. Uh, let's see, and then I do have a new representative who put this in her own picture on her Facebook page and got a lot of orders that way. She said, you know, I'm taking orders for this set now. It's $19.99 for these seven products. Um, and she got uh, a lot of people to comment in on that and sold quite a few. So uh, as much as possible, try to use real life uh, testimonials, try to use real life pictures. They tend to do better than um, the commercialized ones that Avon puts out for us. So, uh, you know, try a little bit of both. You want to have a nice healthy balance and see what works out best for you. Um, but it does seem like real life pictures definitely get more engagement. So you can, uh, a, a nice way to hit a lot of people without spending a ton of money on the brochures is to make a lot of these flyers and, and hand those out as much as you can. You could even put on there, uh, ask me for a full size brochure. So you're saving money, but you're still trying to build that customer base. So there are the three earnings opportunities there are uh, what we call traditional sales, which are going to be face-to-face uh, -face sales. So that doesn't just mean door-to-door. -door. It could mean that you're setting up at an event. Um, it's, it's a local sale where you are most likely collecting the order, collecting the money, and delivering the product. We have our online sales, which if you do not uh, specify, your customers can either choose rep de delivery or direct delivery only. Um, so I have mine set so that they can only choose direct delivery. Uh, what happens is if you have rep delivery as an option, anyone can put their order into your online order cart. Um, it's still up to you to submit the order, collect the payment, um, deliver the order. So you, you want to think through that, whether that's an option that you want to have on your website or not. Um, whereas the direct delivery is the traditional online, I shouldn't say traditional because I'm going to confuse you. Um, it is the most likely scenario when you're ordering online. You place your order, you pay for it at the time, and it ships directly to your house. And then the other way is to build your own Avon team and start earning that way. And the face-to-face -face and the online sales are going to combine to determine your commission level. So you can have $250 in face-to-face -face sales, $250 in online sales, and that'll put you at 500, which is going to put you in the 40% uh, commission area. So this chart is going to be the chart that you will go by once you are through the Kickstart program. They, uh, Avon is not doing Avon licensed stores anymore. 
you are allowed to set up at craft fairs and farmers markets and events, uh, but any sort of um, permanent location, um, those are not allowed anymore unless you find someone who is selling theirs. Uh, I am one of those owners and it is difficult to make money. Uh, things are just going more toward the online uh, shopping shopping way. So people are, are moving their shopping online. There's free shipping all the time. Uh, it's convenient. So just store sales in general are declining. And I don't think it's really a huge area of opportunity for Avon and that's kind of why it's gone away. So we have our Kickstart program and what this is gonna do is really set you up for success as a um, new representative. So Avon's gonna challenge you a little bit and give you increasing progressive sales goals as you go through your campaigns. Um, LOA is going to be length of association. So this is your first campaign, uh, whether that's campaign 16 or 17. It's uh, the first campaign that you start in. Um, second campaign, and then when you hit these sales goals, you'll earn the 40% guaranteed earnings on almost everything. The only thing you do not earn full earnings on are anything in the book that has a, an asterisk in front of the title. So um, I don't know if you can see that, but um, a lot of the, the, all the clothing is fixed, anything that's not made by Avon, uh, a lot of the kitchen and home goods and that kind of stuff is fixed earnings. But your, your makeup, your bath and body, fragrance, skin care, um, jewelry, that's all uh, full earnings items. So um, just so you know, that is the difference there. And then um, you really want to try and hit these goals because then once you're up to the $400 marker in sales for a campaign, you're making a decent amount of money uh, with your Avon business that you're gonna wanna continue to bring in. So this is the chart after you're done with your Kickstart goals. Just trying to catch up on what you guys are chatting about here. Do a lot of reps replace their items with Avon brands to help with their sales goals? Yes, um, Ebony, that is a great point that that should also be one of those first things that you do besides building that contact list is to go through and say, okay, Avon has shampoo, Avon has body wash, I'm almost out of this, I need to restock it for my house. Um, so I just, I placed my personal order today and I got some makeup wipes, and um, my brow definers. Uh, I've, I've pretty much replaced everything that I use with um, Avon products if they're available. So uh, in the beginning, I did not use many Avon products. So shame on me. I was trying to sell something that I was not wearing myself. So the sooner you get in the habit of using it and um, it just becomes natural for you to talk about how much you like it because they we do have great products and people uh, normally fall in love with them. So uh, we have really high customer satisfaction. If you look at the star ratings on a lot of the products, um, they're rated really well. Um, something that's not uh, made very clear and I'm not sure why because I like to have all of my information um, so that I can be the most profitable and successful with my business, um, but there are shipping fees. So uh, I know this screen is a little bit blurry here, but hopefully you can make that out. Um, it's so important to know those cutoffs when you're going to make that next commission level or when you're going to hit the higher shipping costs. Um, so when we know what our costs are, um, we can be wiser when we're making decisions about our business. So you can eliminate some of those shipping fees by ordering 
um, one time per campaign. Maybe you have a $50 order that a customer wants right away. Uh, be creative and go to your customer website and order it there for them. It, you can ship it directly to their house. Um, you can place the order for them. You can collect the money by uh, running a square or PayPal. Um, or you can even put in their billing information into your Avon website, but you can help administer the, the sale so that they're comfortable ordering online. Uh, call in sales tools orders. So you have to be careful with this one because if anything is on back order um, or a product ships with it, you don't get free shipping. But it is something helpful to know. If you're out of brochures and you think you're gonna sell $200 more this campaign, call in the call center and order your pack of brochures. You're not supposed to be charged shipping when it's only a sales tool order. So uh, if you place it online, they will charge you. You can call and get it reimbursed, but it's easiest just to call it in um, to make sure you don't get charged for ordering sales tools. So know your fee chart. Um, and some of you have sold Avon in the past and do know that there was a, a 75 cent shipping and handling or processing fee, whatever they said it was, um, at the bottom which they have taken off of the order book. Uh, so it's up to you because you are going to have to pay um, a fee for shipping. So a lot of representatives still like to charge that 75 cents or the dollar, whatever it is you decide to help you cover your shipping and handling costs. Um, in my opinion, it was never worth making a customer upset over. Uh, so I would charge it if they complained, I would waive it and cover it myself. Um, but you can just explain that, you know, they get free shipping, so it's just helping covering your shipping and handling. Let's do some recognition. We have some new representatives on Team Momentum in their first seven campaigns uh, who already have awesome numbers. I completely sucked when I was a brand new representative. <laughs> um, so you guys would have been whipping my butt. Uh, but congratulations to Carolyn, Teresa, I saw you were on here, so great job. Barbara, Suzanne, Maria. Oh, and I believe I have a little typo there. Francesca, Leanna, Tamara, Haley, and Krista. If you guys can get to the three, $400 marker as a brand new representative, um, you're gonna be hitting thousand and higher at Christmas time. So keep up what you're doing, share your excitement, uh, share with other representatives so um, everyone can benefit. Some of the most basic questions that get asked uh, by new representatives uh, is definitely the most popular, when is my Avon order due? Um, it's not quite as simple as I would like it to be to explain. <laughs> and Avon is working on that. So we are a company that has been around over 130 years. So making changes to our technology and the the ways that we've done things for so long is not always easy. So uh, just keep that in mind. Uh, Avon does try to keep us all happy and satisfied. There are things that need major improvement. Um, I'll admit that. <laughs> so under my account, you can look under key campaign dates. Um, your RPS is what determines when your order is due. Um, so you can always come here to find your due dates for the current campaign and the upcoming campaign. There's also a shortcut up at the top that says key campaign dates. And then uh, there's a little reminder up here as well. Um, you may be on something called the flexible ordering plan. Um, and I'm not gonna tell anyone about that unless you're on it. So um, if you have questions about it, uh, ask me, because it, it gets even more confusing when you throw that in there. How do I order demos? Uh, I was 
showing you in the beginning here, you're going to get um, a What's New book in your orders. I see uh, hands raised. I'm going to open up. I don't think you, okay, here we go. Am I supposed to have my campaign 15 order in today? It is my first order and I just got my kit. Um, without looking at your account, Brandon, my guess is that you don't start in campaign 15, um, but you can. So since you already have activity online, you have already started your kickstart program. Um, so, do the best you can to, to collect up some orders for campaign 15 and make a decent sized order for your first campaign. Um, they tell you which campaign you're technically supposed to start in, uh, but as soon as you have activity on your account, that is when your kickstart uh, goes into gear. Now you guys are typing so fast I can't read. <laughs> All right, so um, how do you order demos? You're gonna get your What's New book uh, with your regular order. This is for representatives and it's gonna have new products coming out. It's gonna have products where you can earn a better commission if you order it up front um, or have some on hand. It's going to have sales tools and samples and tips. Uh, me being someone who does not take the time to read most through things, I advise you to do that because <laughs> you can really learn a lot by reading through your What's New books. There's sales tips, online tips. Um, really study this and uh, you know, pick a few things that you want to have on hand because when you show it to your customers, they're a lot more likely to buy than if you just show them pictures. Uh, and it, it is a little bit confusing. When you add it to your cart, it shows up at retail price. Um, and when it bills, it bills at the accurate demo cost. Um, so as long as you use the six digit numbers that are in this book, you'll get the correct demo pricing. Uh, let's see. Okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna read that aloud. I know it's, it's hard for me and I think I probably am not speaking at the right level for someone who's just starting out because it's hard as you go through Avon and you learn all the programs and rules and incentives. Um, it's hard not to overwhelm you guys. Um, so I try to keep it basic. Um, I know sometimes I probably go too far into detail. Um, and it, some of the things you just need to learn as you go. How do I order brochures? So your kit comes with brochures, but then you need to order them once you're out of the brochures that come with your kit. The brochures become cheaper uh, the more you buy. So they come in packs of 10. If you order one, you're gonna get 10. If you order 10, you're gonna get 100. So um, don't make that mistake. And you can uh, check out the pricing. So when you're in your order cart um, and you say order brochures, you have the current campaign and, oops, I'm sorry, I just went ahead, um, and then the next campaign. And you can click the little box here to remind you of the pricing. Um, it's also really helpful to order in a whole case. So it changes, campaign to campaign and I know you can find it within the Facebook groups so ask in our team momentum or makeup marketing online hopefully someone can post it there because if you order a case which is usually like 50 to 60 brochures they all come nicely fit in a box um, if you only order 10 they're gonna be in the box uh, with your regular shipment so it definitely helps to have, uh, have them ordered by the case. How do I order samples and sales tools? You can see in your order cart, there's a spot here to order samples. 
Uh, we've been asking for a long time to get those pictures with the sales tools and it has not been done yet. So uh, check your What's New books to see the different sizes and examples of some of our um, samples and bags and that kind of stuff. Do I charge sales tax? Yes, but you need to find out what your county rate is. So uh, search online, search for your county. Uh, a lot of times, I, I don't know if it's always, but the food and like liquor tax is going to be different than retail goods. So sometimes you can look on a receipt and it'll tell you what they charge in your area. My best advice is to find it on Google. So then you need to add tax. So we could do that by a customer's order being $10 um, with an 8.25% sales tax. We're going to multiply it by 0.0825 to give us 83 cents in sales tax. So we want to collect that, but we don't have to pay that into our state. Um, Avon collects it from us. So that money is basically just passing through our hands. The customer is paying it um, and you're paying it to Avon and then Avon is paying the state. Oh, and here is a better picture of that shipping rate. So always good to have as much information as possible so you can make the best decisions in your business. Uh, here are the customer service. Numbers, we are transitioning to no longer have district managers. Um, things are going to change from how they've been done in the past, but Avon Corporate will uh, be our, our main source of communication and they will be out doing um, different tours, uh, different workshops, and then you want to take advantage of as many of the regional and the national events that you can. So um, your leader is now your direct source of information. You can also use the corporate supports such as the call center and the contact me on your website. Um, this is our business. We are independent representatives. We are responsible for our success uh, nobody else is, so <laughs> um, you just have to try different things, figure out what works for you, um, be your biggest cheerleader, your biggest advocate, um, and that negativity and the rejection will not bring you down. It will uh, make you become stronger, so that's my advice for that. Uh, it's a little bit confusing to understand how we get paid. Um, so we have our face-to-face -face orders where we uh, are going to want to collect the payment when they place the order. Avon a long time ago used to give out pretty decent sized credit limits. Uh, they've really adapted to today's standards and what other direct sales companies are doing. Um, where some of us, a lot of us don't have a credit line. So you are best off collecting that payment from your customer so you're not stuck <laughs> um, if they take off and don't want their order. So it's safest um, for you, safest and smartest to collect it at the time you take their order. Um, so how that works then is you collect the amount of the products in the book plus your sales tax. When you go submit it to Avon, they're only going to charge you the cost of the product. So retail price minus cost of product equals your profit. Okay, so um, hopefully that makes sense. It does uh, get confusing for some, um, but basically the commission is going to stay in your pocket um, and you only pay Avon for the cost of the products. For getting paid on online sales, you will see credits 
uh, that show up on your account that are either going to go towards the cost of the products that you're buying or they'll start accumulating as a positive balance. Um, so if you have a credit balance with Avon that's over $5 and you have your direct deposit set up, that'll get issued to your bank on the 1st and the 15th. It takes a few days for it to hit your bank. So don't uh, get all worried if it's not there right on the 15th. Um, but again, that you have to have a $5 credit or higher for them to deposit that. If you don't have direct deposit and you have a credit balance, you can request from customer service a prepaid Visa card um, with your online commission on there. How do you get paid for building your team? Uh, again, the easiest way is direct deposit. Um, so you can see here under my account, you say get paid by Avon and you can set up your direct deposit there. Um, again, with leadership, if you don't have direct deposit, you will automatically get that prepaid visa for those online um, commission amounts. Uh, you do have to request it. So that's the difference there. Um, you can see here, this is a credit balance, so I would have received uh, a direct deposit for that amount. But under Pay Avon, it's going to tell you the amount due with the next campaign, and then it's also going to tell you your your total balance. So the amount due is what's due by the time you submit that campaign. Your total balance is um, anything else that's on there that's not yet due. The Boss Life workshops are going around. They are free to attend, and the first round um, sold out. You know, they're not they're not for sale, but uh, <laughs> they met capacity, and they weren't taking any more people. So make sure you sign up for that as soon as possible if there's one in your area. And another good place on YourAvon.com to find your latest information is in the Success Center. And then uh, I guess I should also say, you can find that on your homepage. Um, under my account and profile, and I think personal preferences, that's where you can select your e-communications from Avon. So make sure you're signed up for their newsletter and getting all of the information from Avon Corporate so you know about incentives and programs and events. A way to get people to shop on your website is to use this welcome 10 code. Uh, in our follow-up email tomorrow that I send you with this recording, I'll have a label template that you can make for yourself. It's a great way to get people to order from your website for the first time. So it gives them 10% off any size order. They can only use it one time ever. So um, make sure you specify that, say one-time use only. Um, and again, it can be for any sized order, but they can only use it once per email address. Hopefully you've been able to check out your social media center a little bit. Uh, you can find that in your web office or you can download the app. Some of us have found that Facebook is now flagging some of these posts as spam. So before you go into your social media center and share all 150 or what, however many there are, um, you know, do your marketing more methodically and, and slower and analyze your results before you really dive in and take on a big project. Um, we want to make sure that we're being creative and original so we're not getting flagged uh, by some of these social media sites as spam. But it's definitely a great place to go to get images and ideas for your content. You can also go uh, on every product page on your website. There are social media share buttons at the bottom. 
So you could go in there and pick a product from each category and say, hey, you know, this got rated 4.2 out of five stars based on 400 customer reviews. So those are, those are things that are powerful to tell your customers about, customer reviews, testimonials, um, any sort of magazine or outside endorsement. Uh, those are always really popular posts and a great way to uh, present yourself because you're giving um, an unbiased uh, opinion. It's not coming directly from you. If you want to sign someone up on your team, there's two different ways to do that. Uh, one is by telling them to go to startavon.com and use your reference code. So we all have a reference code is the last part of your customer website. You can also go to your website and there's an option that says sell Avon. If you right click over it and say copy link, um, then you can go and paste it somewhere and it'll sign them directly up under you. I like to use the startavon.com with my reference code on any of my paper materials and I like to use that other link online. The recruiting posts from the social media center also will uh, connect people back to you. So anytime you're sharing a link, um, make sure that you see what they call a rep ID in there, which is going to be your account number um, or your reference, your rep code, which is going to be uh, something similar to E. Seagren, whatever you picked as your username. Um, so as long as it has one of those two, you're safe that it's referring people back to your website. You can also make extra money by bringing in friends to sell with you. Um, think of it as more of a fun thing to do. Hey, check out what I'm doing. I'm having so much fun. I'm meeting friends. I'm making extra money. Um, you don't have to sell them that you're successful in making good money to get them to join. Uh, make it more about the friendships and the fun and uh, the community. And when you do that and they're successful in their first or second campaign with a $150 order, um, you can earn a $50 bonus. So that is um, unlimited during your Kickstart campaign. So like I said, the sooner you get in the habit of recruiting, the easier it is to work it into your routine. We have a rep fest coming up in just over a month. Uh, today's the fifth. It's exactly a month. That's crazy. Uh, so we have over 6,000 of us going to Nashville. Sign up uh, tonight. If you want to go get there, uh, you know, make, do it and uh, surprise yourself and get out of your comfort zone and, and do something sporadic and it'll excite you. Uh, it will change your Avon business and it's it's all about training and learning and having fun. Um, so that is our national conference. It's very close to sold out. So AvonRepFest.com is where you can find more information. I have some uh, service providers that I really recommend, um, especially to, uh, yeah, I, I am not, they only, they only do rep fest uh, one time a year. So there should be probably holiday events and um, more local regional events that are coming around um, soon. But as far as rep fest, they do that one time per year. Tools that have helped me grow my business. Of course, they cost money and um, you know, you either add them because they save you time or they make you more money. So that's always got to be your decision maker when you're adding a, a cost or an expense to your business. Uh, I highly recommend getting the square or something very similar to easily be able to take credit card or debit card payments. Um, there it is. Okay. 
So the processor itself, uh, the swipe is free. It's, um, I think I have mine down here, but you just click it right into your phone, swipe the card. You can ease, you can also uh, manually enter it. It's just so much simpler than using the, the payment program that Avon goes through. Um, PayPal is another one. Uh, find easy things to make your business easier. Campaign mailer is one of my favorites where you can pay to send the catalogs to people. Um, Buffer is another one of my favorites and saves me a lot of time and time and makes me more money. So um, I hope that you guys found this helpful. And I do have some suggested videos. You'll you'll continue to get emails from me and some of those are geared more towards new representatives and some are to everyone. I do have uh, two other webinars this month. One is geared towards sales and recruiting tips. And then the other one is recruiting and leadership tips. So uh, join in if you can. If you cannot, I always post the replays and uh, you know, just get in, just get as involved with your Avon business as you can. Take time to absorb people around you and find people who are successful to see what they're doing. And that can cut down the time it takes you to be successful. Um, so having said all that, um, I will go into, hey, it's 901, look at that. Um, I will go into yourivon.com and just show the, the order processing. Um, that's really the, the basic thing that you need to know as an Avon representative. A lot of the other stuff I like to, to teach as you go on. If you have any uh, questions right now while I'm kind of, Opening it out to you guys, uh, feel free to ask them in the chat box. If you guys have been on my other calls, I didn't get all stuffy tonight. Yay. <laughs> I don't know what's up with my allergies or what it is, but the past few calls, um, I, my voice starts like, cracking and my nose is stuffy. I don't know what happens, but I avoided that tonight, so I'm excited. <laughs> okay, so when you log in, you may have a screen that does not look like this. Um, they have been debating whether to give you the same screen as us, as us or keep it the new representative one. Um, so if you do not have this, click on the Your Avon up in the left-hand corner, and it should bring you to this because uh, this success center is uh, where I always lead people to go to find out about news and incentives. Uh, Campaign Central is something that you're going to want to see. It is just a, a highlight of the campaign and it, it focuses on three products for you to learn about. Um, so definitely catch those YouTube videos. Here are the different events happening and then here are some helpful uh, sales tools and guides. But the ordering, order processing is pretty pretty simple. So we go to my orders and I recommend um, when I was doing face-to-face -face sales, I liked to put them in there as I received them and then um, didn't submit until my order was due. So I wouldn't submit them um, as you're going and as you're getting them but I, it is okay to put them in there so that they're in your order cart. Okay, so Brandon, I would do all that you can um, to get to the 150 for your, for your first order. Uh, if you 
can't get there, you can't get there, but uh, the bigger your campaigns become, the easier it will be to build upon that as you go. Um, so resetting that direct delivery only, uh, that is under web office and uh, edit e-store and then personalization tool. Um, and you can select direct delivery only. So again, that's uh, web office, edit e-store, personalization tool. Um, I really recommend just kind of meandering through that web office and uh, finding everything that you can in there. <laughs> okay, so I'm trying to go back to your questions here. How do you find out when and where those regional events are happening? Um, so again, I would go to that success center, uh, go under my account and profile and personal preferences to update your communications so that you are getting the, all the emails from Avon. Um, you can also sign up for their text alert. Um, so find the different ways that they're communicating. Also follow Avon USA representatives on Facebook and YouTube. All righty. Okay, does PayPal cost to use? Um, there's different rules for that. I know like if you're sending money to a friend or family, uh, I don't think they charge. I'm not, I don't, I'm not even going to answer that one because I don't know for sure. So um, most services have some sort of fee. You're best to go look at the website and check out their different options. All righty. Let's see. I'm looking for other questions. How do I reset my direct delivery? I think I asked that. What date do you put on the back of the brochure? I would put that it is due the day before you turn it in. <laughs> so I like to I like to actually put um, the two week time frame. Um, so they know the window that they have to order from. Uh, this says June 28th to July 11th. I also have my uh, neon labels on the front. And you'll see that in the follow-up email. You can um, print them off yourself to use. But I, I like to use the two-week time frame so that they get in the habit of ordering every campaign. Why am I unable to order from campaign 16 to campaign 15? Um, so that is just how our process works. Um, I don't, I don't, I really don't know. They just, they, do, they want to give you certain specials and deals within campaigns. Um, and the two week time frame is just how they have it set up with us right now. Um, sometimes you can order ahead by getting the new products out of the demo book. Um, sometimes you just can't order something until it turns over to that next campaign. Double dollars is an incentive program. Uh, so it's going to be in campaign 16 and 17, and you're going to earn double award sales for certain products. So in that success center, you'll also find um, the frequently asked questions and the flyer on that. Uh, so what it can do is double your award sales. So let's say you turn in a $100 order that counts towards double dollars, uh, that will give you 200 in award sales towards um, reaching a sales level. It will not give you more money uh, to put in your pocket during that campaign, but it can reach you closer to making a President's Club 
I didn't cover that in the new rep webinar, but I do cover that in our sales and recruiting webinar. So um, just helps you get to a higher level faster. Um, Crystal, I don't, I would doubt, I guess um, that Skin So Soft bundle, I don't think that that would count towards double dollars, but um, don't take my word because I'm just guessing. So you could call customer service and ask that for sure. All right. Um, you guys will get um, plenty of follow-up information from me. Uh, Donna, I can reach out to you with my contact information. Um, so maybe in the beginning it does feel like it takes a while to get to turning in an order, uh, but the busier you get and the more orders and activity you get, the sooner those dates come at you. So um, I know you're anxious in the beginning to order ahead, but um, there's plenty of work to do as you go along. All right, so I am going to, I think I answered most of the questions, so I'll just show you real quick here. Um, you can add a new customer by this link, and then uh, you want to start typing their name, and it should pull up a, a customer for you, as long as you've added some. I think we're all in there automatically. So if you're ordering products for yourself or sales tools, um, you can enter all of those under your own name. I don't know why it's uh, being so slow. Let me try it again. My laptop is like almost an extinct dinosaur, so I, <laughs> I need to update that soon for all the stuff that I do on the computer, but knock on wood, it's been working for like 10 years for me. I don't know why it's uh, not pulling my name here. So what's supposed to happen is when you type that in, um, it's gonna pull down my name and I create an order. Oh man. All right, let's try again. Yay, there we go. Okay, so we click on the name there. And you can start building a future order for 16. It's not gonna let you submit it until a certain date. So you say create order. Over on the side here are all the different sales tools that you can order. You can also browse the brochures online so you can shop in the What's New, you can shop, uh, buy brochures and flyers. So if you go in there and you wanna see a deal back from one of the Campaign 14 books, you can do that. Um, if you're back ordering, you use this drop down menu to select the correct campaign. Um, here's where you wanna type in your six digit codes. So uh, let's enter a perfume here. You can use this little magnifying glass to uh, click it open and make sure that you're ordering the right product. So that's the uh, free O2 perfume. Um, in this book, it's two for 17. Uh, so this does look like 850. If you only choose one and you don't follow the rule of the two for 17, they're gonna charge you full price. So make sure when it's a 2-4 deal um, that you enter the right quantity so you get the sale price. If it's buy one, get one free, um, normally you would enter two and it's just going to automatically mark one as free down in your cart. So once you have all of your uh, items entered, 
you can go down here. Let me scroll down and add items to order. Hang on. Oh man, I just got rid of them. <laughs> okay, hang on. Okay, three, eight, two, nine, five. Okay, so now I come down here and say add items with zero. Huh, doesn't like something that I'm doing in there, of course. <laughs> Usually it's very simple to use. Let's try this. So um, I just showed you, you can also open up that magnifying glass and, and type in a description to um, find it that way. Huh, I must have something entered down here. Okay, so I'm not gonna show you that, but it usually is very easy. So add items to order, and then it updates and shows you down here. Um, you can quickly add a new customer right from this screen. Um, and then for your samples and brochures, you can choose over here. Uh, then when you're ready to submit, um, when you have stuff in your cart, let's see, maybe if I try different customer, it'll let me do that. Okay, so let's see if it's gonna like me. Hmm, okay. I don't know why it's doing this, but uh, I'll try to figure it out. I'll uh, open it up. Then it, if you wanna check about web orders, um, you're gonna wanna go into your web office. Um, they show up there within a couple hours of your customer placing it and you will get an email notification the next morning that you have direct delivery orders. Uh, so that is right here, um, where I showed you, you can mark just direct delivery only. That's under your personalization tool. I uh, also re recommend using the online invoicing uh, so that's why you really want to set up all your different customers and enter them that way so you know what their order history is. Uh, here's where you can mark, you know, change your contact information. Here's the automated email program. Um, and here's where I have it specified direct delivery only. Your invoices will show up under my account and it probably will tell you an amount an estimated order due as soon as you submit your order i say to wait for the email from avon that tells you exactly how much to pay to take your order off hold so that it ships um, so if you want to avoid having to pay multiple times um, don't pay anything right when you submit it, but wait for that email from Avon saying how much you owe. So there's uh, a lot of helpful information under my orders, my account, web office, um, and, and then again, you wanna stay up to date on your campaign central. Uh, okay, I'll go back to the chat and see if you guys have any last minute questions. You guys are talking about marriage and children. <laughs> I think that means <laughs> you're tuning me out. So um, I hope you guys had a good night. Uh, I hope I, I didn't overcomplicate or under simplify or whatever hopefully you learned something new um follow avon corporate on social media on online get the text messages the emails 
um, be a sponge in the beginning and uh, be nice to yourself. Don't be too hard on yourself because it is hard in the beginning. Um, yes, if you are on Team Momentum and you guys have questions, feel free to reach out to me. Um, I will admit I did not answer calls 4th of July weekend. <laughs> um, I have a husband, two kids, and 820 team members. So I do what I can to keep up with everyone. Um, I try to get back to you within a couple days. So uh, try to be patient with me, and I promise I will try to help you. Um, and yes, I need to uh, defriend some people so that I can be friends with my team members. Uh, always, always so much to do. So um, have a, a great night. Uh, keep a positive attitude. Learn from all the Avon Facebook groups and events and training. Um, I will send out links to our upcoming July webinars that are, are left for the month. So um, have a good night, and I'll talk to you later. You can enjoy the Atlantis back there. <laughs> Bye.